last four years has been one long buzz. I've had a truly amazing experience. Thank you for your support and see you around. Caught it. One final glimpse of perfection. Rio stands a metre 87 tall, weighs 79 kilos. As a result, Jane is 12 centimetres shorter and 15 kilos lighter. Jane Smith psyching herself up for the barrage to come. The lull before the storm. Rio first to unload. Knows that Jane can take plenty of stick. Jane grabbed 10 points off Rebel last time, but this a real pillar to post pasting. Rio swinging, and Jane's head is ringing, but she comes back for more. Rio really making the foam fly. Jane in trouble, big time. The cup as well, though. This is a proper Rio Grandi performance. Jane takes a licking, but keeps on sticking. Oh, but Rio in trouble. Just recovers. Sticky moment for Rio on her farewell performance, but a glorious effort by Jane Smith to secure five points in the duel. The crowd appreciating every blow of that event. In the space of a few seconds, Rio overcooked it, almost handed it to Jane on a plate, then nearly won it with that right-hander. Well, Jane, I have to say, I don't think we've seen anything quite like it here on Gladiators. I mean, first of all, the size of Rio, and then the strength and the blows with which she was hitting you with was just absolutely... I mean, tell us how it felt. Are you still there? I'm still in one piece, yeah. Spinning around, I was all over the shop. I know! A lovely little pirouette, and you managed to regain your balance again. I've been a ballet dancer. <laughs> well, you could probably make it now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, listen, the most important thing is that you needed points. Well, everybody needs points as we're going into the Eliminator, and you picked up five, so you must be very pleased with that. Yeah. Let's hear it for Jane. <laughs> Next up on Jewel, it's Andrea. Andrea Wari scored 10 against Fox last time. She was dueling on the pugil platform, and don't think Rebel doesn't know it. Rebel gets to work. Double-ended attack. Andrea trying to fend her off. Rebel's had a few disappointments on duel, but usually as a result of her own impetuous style rather than being knocked from the platform. Rebel letting Andrea get back into this. Less than 15 seconds to go. Rebel in a spot of bother. She'll need to dig herself out of that. Five points if Andrea can hang on in there. Rebel adjusting her workload, putting in some huge roundhouses. But she can't shift this Cornish power kite trainer. Great result for Andrea. And then Elsie thrilled. Well, Rebel threw all her best moves at Andrea, and Andrea didn't even wince. At the end of five events, Jane moves up to 31, Andrea to 24. We now move into the men's event, and first up on duel, it's Mark. And he's facing Hunter. Well, it's the last time we'll review these magnificent measurements. The Huntsman is 190 centimetres tall and 103 kilos hefty, which means Mark is 4 centimetres shorter and 14 kilos lighter. Mark with a good lead over Dave so far. A win against Hunter will consolidate that position. But the Hunter's farewell performance will be impressive. Sharp and to the point. Hunter gets down to work and Mark gets down to the crash mat. The big man says goodbye and makes it look so easy. But Frankie hoped for better things from Mark. He started with all good intentions, scoring some early hits, but got nudged away with a couple of lefts. Bye. Well, I guess this was your last duel. and You had nothing to lose but your job. <laughs> Well, exactly. It's always nice to go out with a good game, and uh, obviously, Jules a great game to finish on. So, uh, very pleased with the win. Well, Mark, I didn't think you stood much of a chance because he was there with a the blow right on the whistle. Yeah, he's, a, he's always been the best at this game. Him and Rhino, you know, you don't stand much of a chance out there. My main objective was just to stay up there, pick up five points, but best man won on the night. Hey, listen, you still got the eliminated to go. It's not over yet. Let's hear it for Mark and Hunter. <laughs> Jewel, it's Dave. And he's facing Saracen. Over to John Anderson. Contendo! If 
Dave is hoping to pay Saracen back for that hang-tough defeat. He's got 30 seconds in which to do it. Let's get ready to rumble. For the final time, it's hammer time. The Saracen begins his swan song event, and he's on the receiving end of some serious punishment. Dave treating one of the original glads from the first season with scant respect. Sarah having to work hard to get a look in. Dave needs 10 points to reduce Mark's lead going into the eliminator. Dave mixing it and matching it. Sarah's onslaught being soaked up. Dave knocking them back. Can he hang on for the draw and the five points? Sarah keen to finish his career in style. Oh, Sarah's gone! For my money, that's ten points to Dave. Dave's family aren't so sure, but this proves it. Within the final five seconds, Saracen was beginning to put an end to it, but overbalanced into Dave, and it was goodnight Vienna, a battle worthy of this final duel. Which means after five events, Mark remains on 29, but Dave moves up to 26.